Right, and it's World Mental Health Day today. How important is it to, to raise awareness? Yeah, I think it's, it's massively important. It's uh, something that affects an awful lot of people. Uh, it's a disease that people get stigmatised for or about and, and, and uh, are worried about it. Uh, so I think it's important that uh, we all talk up, you know, about something that can affect anybody that could be, a, you know, a relation of yours sitting with the problem at the moment. It could be a relation of mine sitting with the problem at the moment. But I think the main thing is that, that it, it can affect anyone and it doesn't matter if you're the, the wealthiest man in the world or the poorest man in the world, it, you know, it can actually affect anybody at any given time. And it is a lot more common than, than a lot of people actually realise as well. Yeah, I mean, the, the figures they say is that one in four people are touched by uh, mental health problems uh, and obviously there are different degrees of, uh, of severity uh, obviously I've had it quite severely myself so uh, you know I'm talking from experience here and I just think it's it's something that as I say if it's one in four people that are touched by it there's, there's you know if you, if, you, if you ain't you suffering yourself you certainly know someone that is and the uh, the big problem with it is, is that people, as I say, because it's stigmatised, people uh, don't want to be judged uh, about their own personality to, to, to flag it up, I suppose. It, it makes it difficult that people... The big thing with it is if, if, you, go, uh, if, you, have to, if you have a problem and then you hide away from the problem, the problem gets worse. So if you've got a problem, knowing that one in four uh, uh, people suffer with it, speak up and, and there's the help out there. It is something that you speak very openly about and how much more support do you think has become available over recent years? I mean I can only speak about previous, my, my experience really, I mean I've, I've been touched with it since uh, 2009 uh, so I've had eight, eight years on and off with with uh, with the problems. For me the support was always there, I've got to be honest, Whenever when I flagged it up and, and, and admitted I had a problem the support was fully there. I know within uh, the National Health Service or even in the private service, it, it, it's it's something that is taken all, an awful lot of their resources at this moment in time. So, it, you know, again, it's, it's difficult for people, but there is, there is the support, there is the support networks, uh, but it, there's no support if you don't speak out. So for me, there will be people out there that, that can help you. Uh, as I say, that it's very much uh, within the current climate is very much that the national health know it's a big problem. Uh, people know it's a big problem. So there's, you know, I mean, that's, I, you know, I openly admit the other day I've cancelling myself. I still take tablets myself, and I, I'm not ashamed. It's something that I deal with, and it's something that uh, I speak openly about. For one, to to help myself, if I'm totally honest, and, and for two, to help other people to say that look, you know, I'm a normal person. I, you know, I haven't got two heads because I've got a mental health issue, uh, and. As I say, the support is there if you if you search out. The big thing for people is they don't want to speak up because they think they're going to be stigmatised. And that, I think that's an important message to put out. What would your advice be to those people that have got the that could be struggling but kind of kind of lack that confidence to get the, the help and support? I think what you got to do. I think you got to speak to your nearest and dearest. You know, you, you you've got to. If if you don't want to go, like right, you ain't going to turn around and go straight to the top of, uh, and go straight to a doctor or you know anyone that or, or a consultant or a, a therapist you have to be put into the system. But I, I would say speak to someone close to you. If you speak to someone close to you, I can guarantee you they know someone that's that's had the problem before, and then and then people can then advise you what they did with the problem. And I say from personal. Uh, experience I know if, once I once I spoke about it it took a lot of the power out of it and once I spoke about it there was people there that, that knew people that had suffered and I could talk to them and when you talk to somebody I think the only people that really understand mental health issues are people that have had it themselves and then, and, and then that, it normalizes you for you and, 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 and then you can get the help that you need.